it's a bit snowier um, than it was last time I was here. So I'm gonna go take a walk with the pups, get out a little bit, but uh, I'll come back and make the video. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, get cracking on this on this video. So the whole point of this video was to actually show you my rear table and do a breakdown of it because I have some exciting news about it. So let's show you. So welcome to another video. So this is actually the same place that I filmed the last video. A little, little different area actually. The place I was was way higher. Um, I couldn't even make it up that much. The snow was probably a good foot and a half thick. So yeah, what the hell. As I was here last week and uh, yeah, it's uh, covered in snow. It didn't even, I, don't, I didn't even know it snowed. So here we are, we're down here at the base. Um, filming this video, talking all about the table today. So I've gotten a lot of questions about the table. Uh, a lot of people have like, oh, can you build me one, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the answer is yes, and uh, we'll talk about it. But before we before we get into that, one thing I do want to announce, guys, is I did uh, I have a website, and it's live. So when I go out on these little adventures, even just to do something as simple as this, or my bumper review, or anything, any, any chance where I get out, I take a camera, outside of just my video camera, and I take photos. Um, that's what I do, I'm a photographer. That's what I did before this, um, before I got my truck, that's, that's just what I did. And so I, I didn't really have a great way to showcase that without just using Instagram, which as fun as Instagram is, I take a lot more photos than you know one a day. So that's what I'm gonna start doing, guys. So all of my videos that I make um, will actually have their own post on my website with a collection of all, obviously the video will be there, a collection of all the photos I take, like this one right here. So you'll, you'll see some behind the scenes. I'll also have like a brief description of, of what went on that day outside of just the video. So it's a good time. Um, a few videos are up, or a few posts are up. Obviously, I haven't done it for all of my videos, like my key fob video. Sorry, I didn't take that many pictures. I'll continue to update that every video that comes out. I'm gonna, you know, bring an extra camera and take some photos. So let's dive in. Let's talk about this. So this is my rear table, and uh, also if you have stickers that you want to add to this, let me know. Give me my address, and you can send me some stickers. Because I need some more stickers. Here it is. It's a solid piece of wood that my pops, um, you know, he. Uh, made it pretty he added this handle in here he you know did an amazing job I don't know what kind of wood it is I'll make sure to put it in the, in the you know bio below so how I did it guys is I just used a piano hinge down here just kind of going around this back end I wish I would have used a different color um, or maybe even recessed it a little bit because it is quite ugly with the silver but it's 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 fine you don't see that part when it's closed anyways and then I have two magnets recessed right here and then two magnets right here. Obviously this is very self-explanatory, but this is for this. I've seen people use like a plunger type method or a latch. Um, those all work great. It's really just personal preference. I like the idea of the magnet because it, gave, it gives a really sleek look when it's closed and all it takes is a little bit of force. Um, before I did have a piece of rubber right here. I don't know if it was on my, in my um, rig overview. It might've been, um, but yeah, there was a piece of rubber right here. I, I removed that just because I noticed that um, sometimes it opened the door, it would fall over. So it was really nice. It didn't close as hard, but it uh, would fall off, you know, all the time. So it would always fall down and I hear it in the back fall down. It is a little harder to get down now. You do have to give it a little bit more force, but it's not too bad. I mean, you can still do it one-handed and my wife can still do it, so. I actually used paracord to, uh, to stop the droop. When I originally did this, I actually just had it running right along the back here, um, supported on this piece of plastic. And I liked the idea, but I found it was just not strong because this door, if anyone has a GX, you know this door, if it comes loose or you lose the handle, it's not very sturdy. So I had to decide to do something else. Or I decided to do something else. And what I decided to do was I bought these, these U-rings, U-clamps. I'll link them below. And I actually mounted them to the metal behind the door and tied these around them, tied these around them, tied these around them. Wrapped it over here, tied these around them, tied these around them. So they're, they're really, really snug on the metal, not the plastic. So now, there's a lot more force that could be on here, and it still pulls on the plastic, but it's really just because of the tension. If the hole was bigger, it wouldn't pull, but I don't really want to make the hole much bigger. But yeah, it's it works amazing, and I really do love how that how it uh, it holds a lot more weight, and uh, I'm not too worried about this ripping off anymore because it's already barely on. It's, it's gonna come off one day. So let's talk about a few things here. One of the things I really wanted to do with this door, um, if you look, a lot of people use the front runner door, which kind of covers this little um, hole thing right here and it, it folds down and it slides out. The thing about it is it's still pretty small. So what I really wanted is I wanted as big of a door as I could possibly get. So I went full width, as big as I could, and that's why the door is this size. It works great. I have enough room here to put my camper stove and I can prep right here. I can also pull my drawers out. 
right here and uh, use this as a prep area if I want or I can just get my tools and stuff out, whatever I need to get out of here. But that's, that's really it guys, nothing too crazy. Um, I thought about putting a handle on it, but my dad made this nice you know, recess right here and I, I lost um, my door handle so it, it actually fit really perfect. That's all it is, it's really easy actually. So the next question is, what if you're not a woodworker? What if you can't get a beautiful piece of wood like this? Well, you guys are in luck because Pops decided that he's gonna start selling these. So I'm going to uh, start taking orders from him. Yeah, he's gonna start doing these. Um, so I'll have an email below where you can shoot me an email and we can get one of these orders for you. I've had a lot of people ask if, if I can make them this and we decided, yeah, let's do it. So that's kind of the big news, guys, is you can buy this now. Not this door. This is my door. You can buy this. I'm sliding all over the place. I'm staying on a patch of ice. It's very icy out here right now. And uh, I'm uh, all over the place. Sorry if this video was everywhere. I filmed it like three times because I kept forgetting to say things. I should probably start writing this stuff down. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to get out of here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. And uh, make sure to go check out the website because I'll post some pictures of this little trip. Um, it was a lot snower, snow, snower, a lot snowier, a lot wetter than I planned on it being than it was like six days ago. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, that's it, guys. So that table will be for sale. We'll be selling the wood. Uh, we won't be selling all the pieces individually just because there are different ways you can do it. But I will link the ones that I use below and they will all be affiliate links. So if you can use that, cause it does uh, give a little kickback to me and helps me make more content so I can become rich and famous. <laughs> but that's it guys, that's all I have. So again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for some more content. Go check out my Instagram, be a good person, stay safe, all that. I'll see you later.